Any last words? Only one. Luciano! Wait, hold up, hold up. What the heck? It's always boggled my mind how Balenciaga went from creating iconic architectural pieces to taping Kim Kardashian's body with branded cello tape. Like, it just doesn't make sense. And in this video, we're going to uncover this story. So let's unpack it. <laughs> The story of Balenciaga starts with the man himself, Cristobal Balenciaga, born in the heart of Spain in a small village called Guetaria. Young Cristobal discovered his love for fabrics and design in his mother's workshop. Surrounded by rhythmic sounds of sewing machines, his talent blossomed, shaping the future of Hoot Couture. Cristobal's understanding of fabric and form earned him the title of the fashion titan, a master whose hands sculpted garments that transcended time. In 1917, amidst the echoes of World War I, Cristobal opened his first fashion house, initially named Isa, which was a nod to his mother's lineage. The world was captivated by his designs. Each stitch was a testament to his mastery. But it was in Paris, the epicenter of fashion, where Balenciaga truly, truly found its wings. However, amidst the glitz and the glamour, Balenciaga's relationship with the fashion establishment was tumultuous. His disdain for commercialization and the pressures of the industry led to clashes and controversies. This led to Balenciaga's withdrawal from the fashion industry in 1956, a stand for artistic integrity in an increasingly commercialized world. Well, after Cristobal's departure from Balenciaga, the company faced a period of uncertainty, but it was not until 1986 when creative directors like Nicolas Kisquier and Alexander Wang breathed new life into the brand, introducing iconic pieces that resonated with a new generation. Uh, to do a new version from some hin influence, like science fiction influence costume, and uh, mix with, of course, the traditional spirit of the Balenciaga uh, story, of the Balenciaga patrimony, which is one of the most important, I think, for me on the couture. Um, but really also about a wardrobe and how to, how to take those elements and silhouettes and fabrications or prints and, uh, you know, the things that felt very iconically Balenciaga, iconic Balenciaga to me, and, and uh, put it into how I felt a woman dressed and functioned and um, lived, you know, in today's um, environment. In 2015, after Alexander Wang's um, departure from Balenciaga, Demna Gavazilia, the new creative director for Balenciaga, took a toll on the business's um, identity. He redefined the way of fashion by implementing oversized, unconventional pieces that really sparked debate for uh, Balenciaga, but it was almost a way to redefine Balenciaga's identity in a modern way. But what are those? because like, how did we get to this? I'm truly boggled by how Balenciaga has drastically changed its brand image. Like for instance, the cello tape, it's meant to be a bracelet. 
and it sold for three thousand (laughs) dollars i mean i don't know what their obsession is with cello tape but it's just not giving fashion the way that cristobal balenciaga intended for it to be and i just genuinely feel like balenciaga isn't paying homage to cristobal balenciaga his vision i mean like if you look at other brands for instance chanel they're known for their classy tweed jackets and two pieces that were just timeless and elegant and gucci they're known for their colorful flower print cherry red colors and for diesel they're known for their distressed edgy denim fabrics that just are unique to them but when i think back to balenciaga i don't know what they're trying to do like every collection is a surprise for me i mean for balenciaga to thrive in the fashion industry they need to revive cristobal balenciaga's vision of oversized architectural pieces that were stylish modern and classy qualities that are currently missing in today's um modern balenciaga fashion world but i don't know what do you guys think do you guys like balenciaga uh let me know in the comments what you think about it or what other brands do you like and thanks for watching